I'm going to show you how to uh, mount a uh, or create a visa mount for one of these monitors. This is the Samsung S24D590PL. Cracking monitors from uh, Samsung. Great gaming monitors. Uh, you'll have to excuse my uh, seat making a bit of a squeaking noise behind me here. Uh, the only thing that uh, these don't have. Um, is a, uh, a working visa mount um, for gaming monitors they're brilliant the contrast ratio is fantastic uh, viewing angles are great uh, the colors are vibrant uh, the the only issue with them really is um, is is the lack of visa compatibility now um, uh, you can buy one of these which is fine you wanted to use them these are uh, um, a bracket that I've just bought uh, on uh, on Amazon actually uh, I've just bought three of these um, uh, which are fine um, but the issue I've got when I'm trying to mount three of them in front of me is, is the fact that it makes it sit probably let me show you from the side four or five inches uh, too far away from the uh, the actual uh, uh, monitor arm itself uh, and that uh, distance there is too much so um, I want something that's going to go flush here against the actual uh, the the uh, the actual arm itself, uh, stopping this uh, this this gap here, which is a little bit too much. They're sitting too proud and uh, uh, too close to where I want to sit. Now uh, by Monday morning, this is Saturday now. By Monday morning, this wall here will be changed, and there's going to be uh, a couple of uh, nice display units on the on the wall there. So these are going to have to sit a fair bit further back. Um, uh, in the first instance now so uh, this is one I made earlier anyway this is uh, one of the visa mounts I've made earlier on for it uh, it's pretty easy to do um, we'll, we'll go through it step by step but um, I mean it's uh, they're perfectly solid enough to uh, to take that uh, without having to put a metal backing plate behind it uh, you can do you can make one if you really wanted to make a, a full square 120 mil bracket or something behind it if you really wanted to but uh, but I wouldn't worry about that for now Okay, one of the um, uh, one of the things about this video that's going to be quite annoying is the fact that I've moved from a, a Galaxy uh, S6 to uh, my webcam, which is pretty poor in terms of quality. So um, uh, we're, we're shifting a little bit now. But um, uh, these these uh, monitors have been fantastic, and I'm sure a lot of people have got them for gaming. Samsung makes some really good. Uh, monitor panels nowadays they're um, they're, they're uh, pretty good for your budget they're, they're they're pretty tight in terms of cost but the quality is uh, is fantastic and um, these are no exception the contrast ratios on these are, are absolutely amazing the bezels are very very thin indeed I mean uh, it gives you an idea how thin those bezels are there um, thinner than my thumb there um, you can stick two or three of these alongside each other like I have and um, and uh, not notice the bezels at all they are perfect for gaming for aircraft simulations if you're trying to you know, you know turn in on your final approach to your air, airfields etc these are the type of monitors you want you don't want a great big fat bezel there um, two of them sitting in between each uh, monitor screen because it just ruins the whole effect so the idea is get ones with thin bezels and these tend to hit a decent price point but um, they work fantastically um, I'm, I'm very very pleased with them and up until uh, today I was looking at actually having to replace them and spending a lot more money on uh, on getting something else but uh, why would I need to do that these are um, perfectly adequate for the job uh, the issue with the back is this now there's not a great deal of room let me just move that there there's not a great deal of room uh, to uh, to fit a visa mount on these why not you got this horrible ridge here with not a great deal of room there there's not 100 mil there and you're lucky if you've got about 40 mil there uh, so the only place you can you can stick a visa mount on these is right at the very top here there's just about enough room to squeeze them in there they uh, will overhang I suppose no in fact they don't overhang if they're actually almost flush with the top of the, on the monitor that I've done um, so um, yeah we, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, try and get these in but um, uh, yeah it's uh, it's gonna be uh, tight again but uh, we'll get there 
Uh, they're very easy to fit actually all you need to do in a nutshell really is mark out your uh, uh, your points on here for these i've got uh, phoebe's uh, uh, paints that she's been painted with today there we are so um, they lie around the house which is fantastic she's made me a lovely painting to go on my office wall which i'm going to be putting on there at some point in the next few days and basically i'm just going to mark out i'm going to i'm going to put the uh, the actual arm itself on here and mark out the holes there's going to be four of the holes there in uh, 10 mil patterns at 10 mil uh, apart from each other. Sorry, 100 mil apart from each other, 10 centimeters uh, in a square pattern. So it's going to sit there. Uh, the first thing we need to do, though, we need to get the actual uh, back off of here. And uh, with these, it's pretty simple. You just need a uh, very flat, uh, very fine screwdriver. So uh, one of these should do the should do the job. And uh, we're just going to stick it in the side here. And uh, just lever it gently up, and you hear it click as the actual uh, as the actual bracket comes out. And then we're going to slide it along, just every now and again, giving it a little wiggle, uh, just in the hope that it comes off. There we are. It's all coming off slowly. It's going to go around the edge. It'll wiggle every now and again just to get those brackets to release. Start again here. There I don't want to put, apply too much force, I don't want to break the brackets, uh, but uh, they literally do just uh, clip out. While I'm here, actually, it's worth actually going for this one just in case this is actually holding it back. There is actually a screw just here which we'll undo now just in case that's uh, applying any force to this and stopping this from uh, coming out in there. Let's just uh, grab that and get that out. There we are. So that screw is out. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, little baby off. Well, there's not a great deal. You obviously, make sure this is all unplugged before you uh, you do any of this. Uh, there's not a great deal of force needed here. Just gently levering it up as we go around. A few left. Worse than that one was. I don't think I've broken anything. That's just the way it is. Oh yeah, they're all snapping now at the bottom. Snapping in a good way. There we are. Uh, we are left with. There we are. Every one of them is still intact. And you're left with the actual uh, panel itself, which we will move aside. We don't need that for a moment. So, here we are then. So, we are left with the inside of the actual uh, monitor itself. Flip it over. And what we want to do now is mark out uh, using the actual uh, monitor arm we've got itself, uh, which I'll show you just here. So, we've got one of these here. You can just see it sitting there. So using that, we're going to uh, um, uh, mark up the four inner holes. There's four outer holes, four inner holes. We're going to use them four inner holes to actually mark four holes on the uh, on the back of uh, the, uh, the case for the monitor. And uh, once we've marked them out, we will uh, we will drill through and. Uh, and uh, make the holes necessary for mounting uh, the, the visa mount. So uh, we will be back in a moment when I've uh, when I've done that. So here we are marking out the uh, the template for the uh, the bracket itself. So here is the bracket itself off of the uh, off of the arms. Um, as I say, I'm going to mark the inner arms. Now I've got this central. I know it's central because if I turn it over, there's actually two marking points here. Uh, which I've been able to um, to match up with the bracket itself, so I'm comfortable that this is central. 
Uh, it's crucial you do get it central because um, if you don't, it's going to be slightly off balance and the weight distribution is not going to be right. So, you've got to try and get it as central as you can. And for me now, I'm just going to mark the inner holes here with a little bit of Phoebe's paint that, uh, that I said she's had out today. Uh, this is not going to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to be happy with it because I'm a bit of a budge artist in the nicest possible way. Uh, there's nothing scientific about me whatsoever. Uh, so I'm just going to mark these holes out like that. There we are. There's my four holes. And uh, that's done. We can actually drill through uh, and uh, grab our holes. Okay, it's worth mentioning at this point, I've marked out the holes on the back, um, but uh, you will have this annoying little bit of stand sticking up from uh, from behind, you can just see there, uh, if you don't remove it uh, at this point in time. Now, I've opted to keep it on there because I've got nowhere of actually keeping this, but uh, if you want to remove it, it's pretty simple. There's uh, these, these five screws here. You want to do these five screws, they just slot straight out and uh, you just keep it somewhere safe until you want to get rid of the monitor in a few years time, sadly do whatever you want to do. So a number of things available here. So uh, these are B&Q specials, good old B&Q. So what have I got? I've got uh, we are machine screws here, uh, five millimeters by uh, 20, mil 20, mil 20 millimeters long. Um, so I've used a five and a half mil drill bit, but these are five mil uh, machine screws, 20 mil long. They don't have to be 20 mil long. Uh, on the actual uh, one I've done myself, I've probably got about um, I don't know, maybe six or seven mil sticking out the other end still. Um, but uh, they're fine. I'm happy with what I've done. I've got these uh, zinc plated washers uh, to use for the uh, the top uh, screw holes, and I've got these bigger washers which are uh, 6 to 32 mil zinc plated washers for the uh, for the bottom ones. I'm trying to spread the weight as much as I possibly can across uh, much of it. As I say, you can make your own metal brackets to go behind. I opted not to. I, I think it might be a bit overkill. Uh, you've got to be aware that uh, with these top two holes here, you won't have a great deal of room uh, behind uh, before it actually gets to the top. So these big washers here will be uh, too big, um, certainly they were on my uh, early one, yeah, just about too big. Uh, if you can get away with it, brilliant, but um, you won't be able to on my one. Um, so you've got these smaller ones here um, to, uh, to fill the gap here, and uh, the bigger ones will, uh, will fit just here. Uh, what we need to make sure is that we don't actually have any residue on the inside here because we actually want it to fit as flush as we possibly can. Uh, to the unit. There's not a great deal of room at the top here before it gets to the actual back of the monitor itself and we don't want any metal touching on metal. Uh, although I don't think it'll cause any problems, just not worth the risk. I'm, uh, uh, I'm certainly not uh, not looking forward to causing any, uh, anybody any trouble out there. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, uh, here we are. So uh, let's get some of these out and ready to go. It's worth adding, I'm no engineer here. Uh, and I'm not really handy, but uh, this was a pretty easy task. It really didn't uh, didn't take too much effort to, uh, to do this. But there we are. 
uh, these washers here are slightly countersunk I don't know if uh, if you can see them very well from where you are here but they are slightly countersunk and, uh, and it makes for a nice snug fit when you uh, put the uh, washers on there there we are I'm left with something that looks like that again it's not a great uh, angle there right now the moment of truth I'll try and uh, screw this one on here and we'll see how we get on just hoping that all four uh, screws line up somewhat which they do, we're in luck there we are, screw it up for the back Tighten all these up. Sorry, Peter, you can hear the baby crying upstairs. It's uh, bedtime, I'm afraid. Good job too. And we'll just hug these in here, and uh, we'll screw these up relatively tight. You don't want too tight so it breaks the plastic, but we want them snug. We don't want these uh, uh, coming undone at all, and we certainly don't want them so that they're not flush with uh, uh, with the unit at all. We don't want them to be sitting proud. We want them to be nice and snug. Um, so I'm just uh, tightening them up now. There we are. So what we're left with is down there. Oh, they're sitting very, very snug indeed. Now we're at this position. All I need to do is snap this in place. So uh, we're going to place the uh, the monitor on there like that. So we place the monitor on here final stage and we snap it closed simple as that snaps together all round top to bottom making sure it's all nice and tight we assemble the one screw in the middle again and we took out earlier on just to get it back in there nice and tight Presto, we're done.